uh, Solana uh, over the last few weeks has seen tremendous growth in terms of price and interest in its protocol. Uh, this led to many questioning the, uh, the longevity of its rally. However, uh, uh, a recent development around the Solana ecosystem that will help in establishing the bullish narrative around Sol. Um, on 22nd December, Paxos announced its expansion to Solana, marking the first move to a new blockchain for its stablecoin, USDP, initially launched on Ethereum. Uh, the New York Department of Financial Services reportedly approved uh, Paxos's initiative uh, enabling public access to USDP on Solana by mid-January uh, 2024. Walter Hessert, Paxos head of strategy, emphasized the significance of supporting Solana, stating uh, the expansion of our stablecoin platform to support Solana uh, marks uh, an important step towards uh, making stablecoins ubiquitous uh, for everyday consumers. Uh, in addition to USDP, Paxos managed the issuance of BUSD until directed by NYDFS to halt creation following this. Uh, a significant portion of circulating BUSD has been redeemed. Paxos also collaborates with PayPal for the issuance of PYUSD stablecoin. Um, a point fee. As of November, News Paxos expands to Solana at Paxos. The leading regulated blockchain and tokenization infrastructure platform will benefit from the high-performance architecture of Solana to the public mid-January. And feel like here or key. And so ding, and this is a time, December 22nd, 2023. And currently, USDP ranks as the ninth largest stablecoin by market capitalization. Moreover, Binance stands as the most active exchange for USDP, with the highest trading pair being with USDT. Uh, these factors can more positively affect the stablecoin inflow on the network. Uh, new data has revealed a rise in both Solana's stablecoin market cap and growth. Notably, stablecoin inflow, especially in December, surpassed previous months, representing the first consistent increase in several months. Uh, these factors have helped SOL see growth um, is your portfolio green? Um, check out the Sol Profit Calculator at press time. Uh, Sol was trading at 98.52, and its price had grown by 17.41% in the last 24 hours. The volume at which Sol was trading also spiked during this period. However, the development activity around the network fell considerably during this period. This meant that developers were not contributing to Solana's GitHub as frequently as before.